the fell the fell can you say me don't be the right side bro no fell well i'm fucking do your fell i am not a financial advisor sign i know a guy sign that has a guy sign if you ain't a financial advisor yeah i know that guy yeah but i am not a financial advisor no do i play one phil on my own radio network i strictly educational and entertainment value only phil vincenzo vincenzo's cold crypto investing on this late january midwinter again no snow as you can see again once again after the 20th of october no more snow events in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. They'll all be tossed to the north and to the south. And again, just to the north, they got two, three, four inches of snow. We get falling temperatures. It was 34 degrees when I got on my truck at 6.20 in the morning. It is now 8.05 a.m. And it is now, what does that say? 18 degrees and falling steadily. Well, the very windy conditions, as you can see the fan outside of the plant. And it's going to be very cold again. It is a snow desert. It never snows. It's just always cold. This place sucks. I would never, and I repeat and emphasize ever, move to central Illinois, right? Two winners here by duress and protest for work and no snow at all. But the coins are like my snow. You have no chance of seeing all-time highs anytime soon, just like I got no chance at seeing a snowstorm anytime this year, right? So I don't get a snowstorm this year. You don't get any big all-time highs in crypto. What you, this is right here, and I warn you all in XLM and in these other ones, big bearish continuation pattern. Not even a big bearish, small, short time frame. It's a bearish continuation pattern. Up and sideways consolidation, bearish, often a sign the buyers or the bulls are being exhausted and the sellers or the bears are taking over the market and the price is going to come down. And that is going to come down, but this could come all the way up, right? These things can go for a while, but once you break this uptrend, it's over and you're going to come immediately down back to this blue ring in the double bottom. And then if you can't hold, Unfortunately, as we zoom out a little bit to the weekly to give you a better look, you can see what we got going on. You're going to come all the way down from this ring where you flash wick down and you're trying to hold support. And you've broken this pattern of the symmetrical triangle, XRP, XLM, Doge, and a lot of other coins, which you often see here after a big flush and a shakeout. You can start to get bought back up eventually and back test this old symmetrical triangle, lower support. Right, you had support, support, support on this green line at 22 and a half cents. You like to get bought off to back test it in a big bearish continuation pattern to get rejected, and that leads you to the next level down. Which the next level down is down here at 11 cents. But you can see how you would sort of in the not the weekly's too far out, the daily time frame. You could bring this into a bigger one, right? You sort of widen it out and you start looking at it like something like that. And this is your lower support in the weekly. Come on. And then your upper resistance. Oh, my goodness. This thing's all a mess today. And you trade up within that as we zoom in to make it a little more clear in the four-hour, right? You see how you're kind of zooming in there, and that's the wider version where you trade within this, and then you come up, and then you breach it, and then you flush, and you consolidate, and then you dump, right? And XLM, that's what's going on there keep you out from being fleece heisted and shisted. XRP is the same thing. You can see we drew that out earlier this morning. It's in a similar thing as XLM as we've been in a similar pattern as we zoom out to the daily and then zoom out even farther. You can see we were in this symmetrical triangle. We can get rid of that now. Get rid of that. You can see we were in this symmetrical triangle right there. Clear this up. And now you've broken down and like XLM, they like to come back to us but I think you're coming to 47 cents before you do any kind of back testing in XRP. You'd come down like that and then get bought back up and back test, back test, and flush and continue down, right? Because you had support right there. You had support right here, right here, right? So you've had three, four solid lines of support and then a breakdown. 
So that's what's going on in the XRP. Very bearish. Technical target is 23 cents, but short-term technical target is 47. Then a bounce, then a rejection, then 23, right? And then the Doge. Everyone with this Elon Musk bullshit way back there. Not so much anymore, right? You can see we're coming down to that 10 cents. Any kind of bounce in the Doge will get rejected by these moving averages with our industry exclusive pointer tool. Any kind of pump from the Doge anywhere, just like here, pumped, rejected, pump, rejected, uh, support, flush, right? Any kind of move up, the 50, the 100, and the 200, and the green, the blue, and the red, respectively, will force the price down as bearish uh, sell pressure. And that is where you're coming down 10 cents. And then your next one, as you know, is way down there with our purchasing tool pointed at it, uh, two, about two and a half cents. And then our way to uh, the Bitcoin continues to flush, trying to hold support. Any kind of local bounce gets rejected at this blue ring way over here at $37,777, right? Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. Peace uh, and love. Peace and love.